Welcome back to this week's episode of Down South Series. I'm Derek Jones here on the Smoky Ribs channel. And man, I am stupid excited today. Yesterday, I went to a buddy of mine's house and we ate some buffalo bison. And let me tell you what, man, that was some of the best meat that I've ever put in my mouth. And I wanted to know where he got it from. You know, tell him I'm gonna do it on a video. And he comes out of his kitchen with a small one pound pack of bison medallions that are cut up for me to use today on this video for y'all. I can tell you right now, buffalo, bison, whichever one you wanna call it. I love to call it buffalo. Maybe it's just the Indian in me but it's never been done on this channel and I am so honored to be able to bring it here this week and try to do my best with it. I've got my pellet tube already set up here. So they're rolling. I have a couple briquettes over here in my chimney that are just sitting ready to go into the pit. So let's go ahead and get our pit set up. And as you can see, I already got all of my Fogo lump charcoal over here. I'm just gonna start off with a few briquettes over here in this corner and just let them slowly at night as they need to for my snake methods to stay low and slow, but over a long period. I'm also adding in my smoke tube to add my smoke. Now this week, I am using hickory pellets in here. From everything I read, hickory is supposed to pair up well with buffalo, bison, whichever one you want to call it. So the way we're going to set this up, Napoleon Rodeo up today is going to be a little unorthodox, but I want to do this. I actually did it the other day, and it worked out great for something that I was cooking off camera. We're putting the Napoleon Rodeo cast iron grate down to its second level. It actually has two levels. We're going down to the second level. I need a heat deflector. So I am using a pizza stone right here as a heat deflector while we cook this uh, buffalo. And here I went and jumped into the Weber kettle and grabbed its grill grate out of it. And this is actually what we will be cooking on a day. A little unorthodox, I know, but hey, this is down south, baby. This is how we do things down here in the south, back in the woods. When you don't have what you need on hand, you take what you have and you make do with it. Clean this grate up just a hair. It ain't bad, but I did cook on it the other night. So I'm just gonna knock a few things off. All right, I'm gonna let the uh, Napoleon Rodeo get up the temp and I will come back to y'all here in just a little bit. What we are doing today for this bison is of course using PS seasonings. I'm gonna be using the wild game along with their uh, primetime buttery beef rub. I think the two together should pair up very, very nicely. So what we're going to do, I'm going to start off with the uh, buttery beef rub first. And we're just going to go ahead and get it on here. And we will be very generous with it. No time to skimp here, boys. All right, so now we're going to take our PS Wild Game come up over it this wild game I have used already on some off-camera cooks and I can tell you right now it pairs up very well with wild game so that's all we're gonna be doing for right here on this bison meat or buffalo meat we got our season up with our PS seasonings wild game and our prime time buttery beef rub we got another, about another 15 degrees and they will be going on to the Napoleon Rodeo. See you in a bit. Alrighty, our pit is up to temp. We're gonna go ahead and take our little medallions. We're just gonna set them right here in the center, right up over our little makeshift P 
pizza stone heat deflector. Hey, it does work. And it'll work beautifully here today. I'm gonna come back in about 45 minutes to an hour and just take a look at these and see how things are going. Right now, we're just gonna let this pit do her thing and let these things take on some smoke and slowly come up the temperature. We'll see you here in a little bit. Alrighty, my uh, grill eye over here is telling me that I am at 138 on the internal of this meat. So I am gonna go ahead and pull the meat off of here and let it rest while I get the uh, pit set up for searing. Alrighty, I got the uh, pit set up the way I wanna. We're just gonna take our medallions. We're gonna put it right up over this heat. Alrighty, we've been about a minute. I'm just gonna take these medallions and flip them real quick. I'm gonna let these go for about another minute and I'm gonna pull them off and I'm gonna do the rest of these medallions. We'll see you back here in a little bit for a taste test. Alrighty, we are contending with flies. They must approve of this meat. Man, look at that. Ain't that just beautiful? And oh my God, does it smell so good. What I'm gonna do is take a piece. It's gonna, oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice little smoke ring. Yes, just the way it should be. Still juicy, a little red in the middle. That's exactly what we want. Look at that. Look at that. Look, look, look. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Ah, smells so good. Woo! Mm. I love beef, y'all. I love beef a lot. But I don't know. I think I've just found my new beef right here in Buffalo Bison. What do you want to call it? That paired up well using both of the um, PS seasonings wild game and their prime time rub. Woo! That deserves a little dance right there. Yes, sir. Man, that's how we do it down here in the south, y'all. I'm Derek Jones. This is Down South. We'll see y'all next week.